Good. Cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm here with uh, Daisy and Yakuba, uh, key members of the film that we're about to watch, uh, Taranga. Daisy, the co-director, and Kuba, the protagonist. Yeah. Um, and Kuba, what exactly is Taranga? Well, um, Taranga is um, a short documentary, 30 minutes long, uh, that basically talks about um, uh, mig migrant lives and the way migrants are in, in Naples, you know, the way migrants live. But um, the connection is more intimate, not like traditional ways migrants are depicted on media by uh, media platforms and, and politicians, like more intimate relationship um, into the look into the lives of migrants and how they live and uh, the waiting time and basically uh, how migrants are um, generally in, in, in Naples, in Italy, whilst they wait for their papers. Well, I guess I would add to that, like, so Taranga is also the name of the club, um, which is in the yeah. heart of the city in Naples. Um, and in Wolof, it means hospitality and welcomeness. Um, but I guess we wanted to play on this idea of this, this, this kind of Afrobeats club in the heart of the city, which was created a kind of a safe space for lots of people, yet the environment around them in many ways was very hostile. Right. Well, this intimate relationship you talked about, it seemed that you were, at least from what I saw, that you were very natural with the camera, and I guess you had to be very close with the, the directors. How did you two uh, manage to build that relationship? Well, um, the first uh, thing that led to you know the whole the whole Tirana relationship was my was my, um, uh, was my relationship with Sophia. Actually, we actually met um, Sophia and Louis Daisy. We met, uh, you know, they were in the back of the car. And then I popped my head in because they were like um, they were filming with a guy who was walking at the reception center. I was in, uh, but then uh, that was that was just the first time we met. But then I went to Naples where Sfai was staying, and Sfai was usually half um, Africans over like asylum seekers over to, to her house, and we cook African food, dance to Afro beats and stuff like that. So that um, that sort of like relationship build over time. You know, because we had confidence and we like trust as a fire, and you know, one thing led to another, and then we started the, the documentary. That's when Sophia started the documentary and told me that they were like shooting this documentary, and she liked um, if I participate in the documentary. I was I was really happy, but also uh, because I trust as a fire, then I had this confidence in her. And then later on, I I got I got to know Lou and Daisy as part of the Taranga um, Taranga crew. And also because they were with Sapphire, then also they seemed like cool people. I, I got to know them, then you know Taranga basically kicked up from there. It was just basically the the relationship and the trust that that we you know we both shared, like the common common trust that we all shared. That was how Taranga kicked up. Yeah, and I guess we um, we started feel well. It's like it started out from a place of we want we got to know lots of people and know the situation, and from there we were like, wow, we really want to share this intimacy that we've got and share this ex experience and the way that we see it with other people because we don't haven't seen it portrayed in this way before mm. and it was very key to us that you know we wanted to do it over a long period of time in order to kind of make sure it's not just I mean the film is 35 minutes it's a snapshot in time but it is filmed over a period of three years where we kind of got to know people very carefully um, and really understood the situation, so we felt like we wanted to betray it in a way that we, yeah, continue over time. In understanding the situation, <coughs> uh, Daisy, you're actually an LC alumni. Mm -hmm. um, how did your um, degree here in anthropology work into that? Yeah, um, so I absolutely loved studying anthropology, social anthropology um, at LSE. I think it was an absolutely great department and really like inspiring lecturers. Um, and I think it, gave you, a, you know, the, the, the study of ethnography is all about trying to step into someone else's shoes and, you know, see the world from their perspective. And I think as a documentarian, you have to, you know, you're really trying to understand someone and you're, and by instantly by portraying and creating a film, there's a lens involved, you know, it's, it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. But I think you know, if you if you invest the time and you really understand and you have like trust with your contributors and even their involvement, I would say, um, I think it's it's a really good start to um, 
challenging the way you make a documentary film and I think anthropology for me was a key way of doing that in you know making sure you put in the time as you do with an ethnography mm. um, to really truly understand and pick up on the nuances of the situation um, and I think that's what you know anthropology teaches you to look at the small the small things and the relevance that they then have um, Nuku has actually um, got accepted into Bangor University for criminology? Yeah, and criminal justice in Italy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you, well, I assume you're aiming to take that back to Italy. Um, yeah, well, I actually love this, this department because it, it like offered me, you know, the possibility of going back to Italy in my third year and, you know, attending a, an Italian university or working as an English assistant in a school or mm-hmm. like that. So it, it's basically like a way to come back, you know, sure. to, to, to Italy and um, tell them, look at me, like I'm here. Mm-hmm. It was the same guy you have to, that who had to wait for like um, two years to get his papers mm-hmm. under the intense blatant racism, you know, in Italy and the corrupt immigration system. And I'm here, I'm already giving back to the society in Italy because I'm, I'm already an English teacher. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, having to study Italian in Wales and criminology and going back to Italy, like investing back into Italy with the knowledge I've gotten from Wales, that's, that's, that's gold, really. So, you know, doing that, you know, going back to Italy, that, that's going to be something that I really love. If I get there, it's a dream for me and hopefully I'm going to get them. The crowdfunding is going to work and I'll have the tuition re- reduction from the university and hopefully study and like my study, do my Erasmus in, in Italy. That's that's going to be great. <laughs> is uh, Italy Naples uh, in your future again, Daisy? I, I hope so. It's such an incredible city um, and I feel like there's so many stories to be told. Um, you just have to look into doorways and, you know, there's crumbling buildings and there's so much character and life and we're very fortunate that the co-director Sophia who Vancouver was mentioning um, is based there mm. and so as long as I can improve my Italian poco poco <laughs> um, um, we're definitely hoping to do there's a lot more stories um, to be told in Naples Daisy thank you so much for coming Hi, and Kuba, thank you as well appreciate it um, if you would like to help uh, young Kuba with his fees so he can attend Bangor University there will be a link in the description um, please watch Taranga it's fantastic uh, the link will be below as well. Uh, Daisy and Kuma, thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you.